I hate them. I just hate them. Why are they ruining my life? There is no way I'm staying on YouTube for another day. If you feel this way about haters, you might be scared of them or they might just be annoying you. I will tell you about four effective techniques for dealing with haters. But first, let me share two pieces of news that may shock you. The first news is, if you are wondering how to get rid of haters, you just can't ever. If you are planning on having a huge following on Instagram or a big base of subscribers on YouTube, you just can't avoid having haters. Every big expert and influencer has haters. It's normal. All you need to do is just to find your own way to deal with them. The second news is that haters are not bad. They actually are very beneficial for our YouTube channels and Instagram pages. They provide us with the most important thing to go viral – comments. The more comments our video gets, the more successful the video is, because it's being pushed further. For those who don't know me, I'm Valentina, a marketing strategist for coaches and service providers. If you want to get clients automatically on YouTube and Instagram using simple videos, just book a free consultation with me using the link in this video description and we will talk about your strategy. Now let's get started with those four approaches how to work with haters. They are suitable both for YouTube and Instagram. I will start from the softest one and gradually we will go to the hardcore one. So the first approach is to delete all negative comments. It's your right like a content creator. But a small tip, don't be too obsessed with this is deleting. Try to wait at least a day after a comment was left. This will help this comment to make its job and to push a little bit your content. The next approach is to leave negative comments without any response. So you just pretend that negative comments don't bother you and you just leave it there. But in this case, left negative comments might provoke new comments from new viewers and they can even take your side and kind of support you. And this all is very good for your content. The third approach is to respond to haters, provoking them leaving new comments. As you can feel, we now are going more to the dark side. If you are not too sensitive and you really want to take advantage of the situation, you can provoke haters asking questions. Be polite as haters don't like it and show genuine curiosity. For example, if someone asks, where did you get such a lipstick that looks very bad on you? You may answer something like that. Could you recommend a different shade? Because I'm considering a change to a more mature color. I'm sure you know where I can buy it. This type of response is unlikely to go unanswered and you didn't insult directly this person. The most hardcore one. You need to create content on very controversial topics to provoke a lot of comments. For example, how to lose 20 pounds without a diet or getting married after divorce in a month, or why I chose to not send my children to school, something like that. You feel the vibe. The key here is that you need to be a real expert in the topic or have a real experience in this area. By the way, if you are not receiving any comments on Instagram, you might be having a rich decline right now. And in this case, uh, I recommend you to watch the video on how to fix this problem. So please share whether you receive comments from haters and what approach is most suitable for you. See you!